Hi, this is Robin Bremer with Walks with God, and today is the 22nd day of my video diary of uh, talking with God, and he's been sharing with me on a scripture that says, uh, it's Colossians 2.15, it says, and having spoilt principalities and powers, he made a show of them openly, triumphing over it. And I've just been meditating on that, and that scripture, I really like that scripture, and that scripture is really exciting to me. And I was meditating on it, God told me, asked me if I would tell you guys an experience that I had that set me free in this area. Um, a couple years ago, I had to take a bus trip, and it was 30 hours long, round trip, bus trip. And uh, while I was on the bus trip, my goal was to evangelize, witness to people, and so on. Uh, because it was a perfect opportunity. But I was slightly intimidated. And God pointed out to me that the people who were blowing cigarette smoke, every time that there was a break and we could stretch our legs, that would blow uh, smoke cigarettes and blow cigarette smoke in my face, were not embarrassed or didn't even think a second thought of blowing cigarette smoke my way or saying a swear word or harassing or degrading their children or their spouse. But yet, I was afraid to tell somebody, not afraid, but reluctant and slow to tell somebody about Jesus. And he said, this world belongs to us, his kids. Well, God showed me on that bus trip that they didn't think a second thought about it, that I should be the same way, that I shouldn't think a second thought about um, laying hands on people in, a, in some place, public place or giving them the gospel, getting them saved. Because this world belongs to God and his kids, and he told us to have authority and dominion over all the earth and subdue and rule over all the power of the enemy. These people are in bondage to the, and, and they're deceived, they don't even know they're in bondage. Because God has so much more for them. So much wealth and health and wisdom and favor and protection for them. And they don't, and peace and love, and they don't even know it. So that experience of seeing people uh, smoking and swearing and doing all that kind of stuff, because uh, I'm, I do a lot of ministry, so, uh, you know, I'm not, not usually on buses with a large crowd like that stuck. So that really ministered to me. And what he said in the scripture was that, have, that he spoiled, he took away principalities and powers. Uh, their um, thing they trusted in that, that made them powerful, he took it away from them. And he showed them openly. In other words, he, he triumphed, them, triumphed over them openly in the public where people could see. And he told me as I minister in clowning or uh, walking down the street that I'm to do the same thing. I'm supposed to um, openly triumph over the devil by healing people in the public. Healing and uh, delivering and setting people free in the public because that's openly triumphing over him in it and that I shouldn't be afraid to do that kind of things. Okay, well my name is Robin Bremer and you're watching day number 22 of video, my video logs with Walks with God and I'm out and I'll see you tomorrow.